There is a saying that life should be enjoyed to the fullest because death is inevitable. And it's pretty saddening to hear about the death of Jenny and that there's been a controversy around the hidden cause of her death. Some people even think that Jenny Rivera's death is connected to the cartel. How true is this? Well, this is going to be answered in today's video, so you might as well stay tuned to hear me answer questions. Oh, yeah, the, I, I, I do gotta say, standard YouTube fare. It'd be nice if you drop the likes, subscribe to the channel, all that fun, boring stuff. Let's move on. Before we dive into the story of her death, let's get to know her life a little better. Jenny Rivera was an American singer, songwriter, producer, philanthropist, publicist, and actress who was born Dolores Janay Rivera Saavedra, an iconic vocalist who was known for her vocal signature style of banda and ranchera music, is acknowledged as one of the most significant performers to create Mexican music around the globe by numerous media organizations. Jenny Rivera is a well-known singer who has been dubbed the best-selling Latin artist of 2013, as well as the top Latin artist of 2013 by the famous Billboard magazine. Her net worth was estimated to be $25 million by Celebrity Net Worth in 2012. Rivera, who was born in California and was also known as the Diva de la Banda, died just as her career was reaching its peak. She branched out into acting and reality television after becoming the most popular female singer in the Grupero, a male-dominated Mexican regional music group. She was a wife, a sister, a mother, and a powerful businesswoman on the cusp of a breakthrough. Jenny was as complicated as a human as she was skilled musically. As the world learned in the months and years following her untimely death through family testimonials, autobiography volumes, and media releases. After the birth of her first child, Chiqui, into the 1985, Jenny Rivera married Jose Trinidad Mar before divorcing in 1992 due to domestic abuse. They had two more children named Jacqueline and Michael. Marim was eventually found guilty of assaulting Jenny's sister, Rosie, and the couple's two daughters, and she was sentenced to nearly 31 years in jail. Then Rivera married uh, to Juan Lopez in 1997, and then they had two children, Jenica and Johnny. Unfortunately, Lopez died in prison after being caught for coke selling, and they separated in 2003. And it's kind of just like she can't live life without a man, so again, she married baseball player Esteban Loesa in 2010. But yeah, the couple was going through a divorce when Jenny died in 2012. Rivera died in an aircraft crash after a concert in the Monterey area on December 9th in 2012. Everyone on the ship was declared dead. While on the December 31st, she was laid to rest in Long Beach's All Souls Cemetery. She was filming the third season of I Love Jenny, which followed her as she shared her special moments with her children and toured through Mexico in the United States, in addition to being a singer. On December 9th, the singer's life was cut short when her plane, the Learjet 25, with registration N345MC, crashed and it ended the lives of everybody on board. The Learjet 25, which had Rivera and her handlers on board, was en route from Monterey to Toluca, about 10 minutes after takeoff when it just went missing. At that time, the National Transportation Safety Board announced that it would send a team to Mexico to assist the investigation of the Learjet 25 disaster, which occurred in the rugged terrain of Nuevo Leon State in northern Mexico. Even though the investigation was still ongoing, a report claimed that Jenny partied, performed, and worked for the Beltran Leva cartel, one of the country's most notorious coke organizations, as you probably already know, you clicked on this video, you know, we talk about them a lot on this channel. So, she was also said to have collaborated with Edgar Valdez Villarreal, El Barbie. Jenny had previously stopped in 2009 at the Mexico airport city for allegedly carrying more than $50,000 in cash. Jenny has never confirmed or denied these reports, but she did say to Ola magazine, Yeah, it's true that at times you're not aware of who contracts you for a show. They'll tell you that you'll sing at a specific location and be paid a particular amount of money. Three years after the death of musician Jenny Rivera, a new theory emerged linking her plane accident to cartel lord Edgar Valdez Villarreal. But some people are still skeptical. For example, Mike Vigil, the DEA's former chief of foreign operations, believes Villarreal was involved in the tragedy and that the crash was purely an act of God. According to the Latin Times, the speculation came after the singer's father, Don Pedro Rivera, stated that the family intended to examine the case for any suspected foul play. Although Rivera and Villarreal stopped their social interaction in an argument, according to a witness who only wanted to be named Jennifer since she's in the witness protection program, 
feeding the belief that he shot down her plane. Rivera was terrified that Villarreal, a, a assassin turned cartel lord for the Beltraneva cartel, who's presently spending his time in prison in Mexico, would end her life as a result of the argument. According to Latin Times, Rivera was threatened before and during her performance at Arena Monterrey in Nuevo León, Mexico, a concert that took place just hours before her death on December 9, 2012. Do you know what the DEA did, notwithstanding the speculation? The DEA continues to investigate Esquino Nunez in connection to Rivera's death. They have a case against the Christian El Eduardo Equino Nes, the kingpin. In December 2012, the businessman was arrested and sentenced to 24 months in prison for fabricating plane records and, and forging official inspection documentation. Rivera was recruited to perform at private occasions for the cartel, according to witness Jennifer. Jenny was allegedly paid very highly by the cartel with money and cocaine for her performances, according to, again, quote-unquote, Jennifer. According to her, Jenny and Nez reportedly got into a furious argument one night after a night of drinking and partying. Jenny threatened to get him back after he allegedly battered her in front of partygoers. And this is where the schism is said to have started. Jenny Rivera's death is a colossal tragedy. Authorities have discovered that she was in the final stages of negotiating the purchase of the Learjet in question. And the plane's operator, Starwood Management, is owned by none other than Christian Eduardo Esquino Nes, who has been linked to the cartel. Would you believe that Jenny was informed about her impending death hours before the plane crash? At her final performance in Mexico, Jenny performed the famous Paloma Negra. We're gonna kill you! Yelled a man in the audience during a brief gap in the song. Jenny pauses, glances to the left of the stage, and resumes her music. This happened just a few hours before the plane incident. Also, it, it looks like Jenny might have suspected that her death was near because she updated her will around the fall before her death in December. She ensured that her ex-husband Esteban Loesa was removed from the picture and that her inheritance was given to her five children. Rosie, her sister, was identified as the person who was in charge of her enterprises, was worth an estimated $25 million. Some believe that Rivera's death was prophesized by psychic Mohoni Vidente, who stated that a prominent singer would die before 2011 in September of 2012, barely three months before Rivera's death. Rivera died on December 9th, which I've said like three times in this video. I'm just, you know what? I'm quizzing you. There's going to be an actual quiz at the end of the video. So I know you're wondering if the cartel was involved in Jennifer Rivera's death. Is her death the result of a prophecy, yet a natural act of God, or just a conspiracy? Mexican officials stated that the inquiry began when images of the wreckage, body parts, and personal documents were discovered on the cop's cell phone. Disturbing. Since then, authorities looking into the case have found items related to the victims in the officers' homes. Officials from the government stated that the cop was arrested and a second officer, who's 24 years old. The horrific disaster happened on Wednesday when the plane dropped near vertical and hit the ground at speeds of 600 miles per hour. However, the Directorate General of Civil Aviation released a full investigation report into the deadly plane crash in December 2013, a year after Jenny, her four companions, and two pilots died. They determined that the Starwood management, the plane's operator, had, had broken international aviation standards. With notations of the flaws that passengers identified, such as the plane flight unaligned, or that it vibrated when it reached cruising altitude, the plane's logbook was not updated. Aside from that, what happened inside the Learjet is still a mystery. Investigators weren't able to recover the data and voice recorder from the flight, which would have revealed the plane's flight history and provided correct passenger testimony. And it's gonna be it for today's video. I thank you so much for staying tuned, getting educated with all of these facts I be spewing at ya. Make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button, the notification bell, all the buttons. Buttons are fun to press. Why not click them, right? And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one.